Hey guys, got another video today, and I thought I'd just give an update um, to like EA banning my account. As you know, so I've been falsely banned in Battlefield 5 for quote unquote cheating. Um, just to let you know what's going on, you know, sort of be crystal clear what has happened. Um, so, you know, as a legitimate player, my account is still banned in Battlefield 5. Um, and it looks like I won't be getting my account back anytime soon, unfortunately. Um, EA have stated. You know, after going through the appeal process, um, as far as they're concerned, you know, the case is closed and, you know, they won't be pursuing it any further. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to lie, this whole experience has left quite a, a sour taste in my mouth. Um, you know, it's obviously a mistake. Um, I, I thought I'd get my account back quite quickly, you know, carry on playing, get back to normal. Um, I still don't know what I've been banned for. Um, I don't, I still don't know why. Or for what exactly why I'm banned. Um, EA did state breaking terms of service for quote unquote cheating. Um, and how EA define cheating is is kind of wild. Um, you know, from stat abuse to gl glitch abusers um, and stuff like that. So, you know, we'll get into that later. Um, yeah, so I, I will be going into a lot. Possibilities of why I could have been banned, all I don't think I'm guilty of. Um, and also problems with EA and how they operate and their products. Uh, <laughs> you, you, you probably know where this is going. Um, we'll try and be quick and to the point as I can. Um, there's a lot to go through. You know, I just sort of appreciate if you don't want to sort of watch till the end, get sort of full context. Uh, be very much appreciated. Um, yeah, so so I think I'm going to start with like the appeal process that they, they provide. Um, you know, I gave them as much detail as I can, you know, to get my account back. And every time I appeal, you know, I get a reply with like a generic response. It's like, we've done investigation. We're happy with the initial decision. You know, we won't be unbanning your account. You know, um, you know, from my perspective, it's like you, you obviously you haven't done it you know, because I'm still banned as a legit clean player. It's like, like, how can you come to that conclusion? Like, one plus one doesn't equal three. <laughs> it's like, do you know what I mean? It's like, it's like I, I honestly don't understand. It's like, how, how are you coming to that conclusion, EA? Like, I, I, I just don't get it. You know, I, I really don't get it. Um, you know, and even after all the details and the, the information that I'm giving to them to say that I'm a legit player, like they still, I still don't have my account back. It's like I'm not sure. I just, I just think it's likely that EA just don't care. Like, they just don't care what happens, you know, don't care about their customers, you know. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. Let's be real here. Like, it's nothing new. Nothing new, to be honest, you know. I think the whole appeal process is just like a front for customers. Um, you know, like EA, I, like EA were never going to unban my account from the impression I get, and it was just a lost cause from the start. It doesn't matter if I'm legit or not. You know, just just on the basis of if it was a system that works, I would have my account back. You know, um, and it, it kind of I feel like it doesn't work. Like, and it's just a front. You know, it's like I think that's kind of like a running theme for EA for having systems that don't work very well. You know, just from my experience with EA app that replaced Origin, constantly crashes my game. Really high CPU usage. The friends list just doesn't function a lot of the time. Uh, you know, and to mention the new anti-cheat, from my experience in Battlefield 5, it feels worse to play. Like, a lot more input laggy. That like, I've noticed lag spikes. Um, I still see aimbotters, speed hackers, server re redeployers still in the game. Um, not banned. I've seen, you know, just um, just from my, my sort of research with this like new anti-cheat, and, you know, I've seen... I've seen players complain in other games not related to Battlefield um, that the new anti-cheat blue screens their PCs. I've seen players in other, from other games falsely getting banned, like myself. So, so my point is here, what I'm trying to make is, I think it's fair to say that EA don't make good products. You know, they make low quality products that barely function a lot of time, um, all with their known issues. You know, so EA anti-cheat, EA app, and the customer service all included. So low quality anti-cheat, flagging legit players, you know, that is a possibility why I may have been banned. Um, you know, so, so getting back to my ban, you know, brings a question, it's like, well, how, why has a legit player been banned? You know, the, the sad thing is, and the reality is, if it's happened to me, it could happen to anybody, you know, and unfortunately it has. Just from talking to other players, you know, reaching out to me, you know, thank you, thank you, by the way, you know, appreciate it, I really do. Um, you know, it does happen. 
um, and players do go through similar experience as myself, you know, going through the appeal process that you just, you just feel quite helpless in. There's nothing that you can do to get your account back. Yeah. So we're going to go through a few things. Um, number one, like I mentioned before, low anti, low quality anti-cheat flag and legit players. That is a possibility for reasons mentioned. Um, I did mention earlier how EA define cheating as a bannable offense. This is what they gave me. Yeah, so it's like, why did my can get banned or suspended? It's like, we're banned, suspend, or sanction accounts when we see inappropriate content of evidence of cheating. We'll also take against any account that posts vulgar, threatening, or harassing content in EA game or any EA website, you know, which, I'm, which I don't do. Um, I did see on Twitter that they, um, you know, they've got like this toxicity charter. Um, you know, I'm not a very toxic person. I don't talk in chat. You know, I do have my, I do have my disagreements with people, but you know, I don't think it's to a level of like, like harassment or, um, you know, being like that. I'm not like that as a person, you know, I do disagree with people, but I'm just like straight to the point, you know, hear more facts. If that's toxic then you know, I would say that, um, you know, also just to quickly mention, you know, um, before we go into it is, uh, you know, the day, the day before, um, the day before I got banned on stream, you know, I was, I was criticizing EA and DICE, um, the day before the ban on stream, you know, it's another possibility. I don't want to say that, but you know, it is a possibility. Um, so anyway, quickly back to this it says, you know, cheating includes, but isn't limited to using third party software, such as aimbots, warhacks, or other similar cheats to gain an unfair advantage over players. Obviously that's not me performing in-game exploits or abusing glitches or bugs. No, stat padding, abusing game features in an unintended unintended manner to artificially stack on scores. No, I don't do that. Win trading or otherwise manipulating in-game ranking system with the collaboration of others. See, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not real. I've seen this before. I'm not really sure what that means. Win trading, manipulating in-game ranking system, collaboration of others. Like win rate, or like stacking in about for five i i could be wrong i'm not really sure what that means but you know if it's if it's stackers you know there's <laughs> you know there's a lot of players that could be banned for that if that is true but you know like, I, I don't really understand the terminology there but um using using software or cheat tools that disconnect other players from the ea servers um yeah obviously i don't do that um every single one of these of why accounts get banned and suspended. I'm not guilty of any single one of these features. Like cheating, like, like to me, like to me personally, using cheat software or cheat tools, you know, third party aimbots, war hacks, similar cheats. That's not the same. That's not the same as using exploits or glitches or bugs or stat padding or win trading. Like in my, in my opinion, that's not the same. That's not the same as using just straight out war hacking and aimbotting, like actual cheating, in my opinion. You know, like if it was, you know, if we're going by these of why, if we're going by every single one of these, why players get banned? I mean, you know, like, on it, I don't, I don't think there'd be a battlefield player left. To be honest, like actually, there'd be no player base left because I see players performing in-game exploits, glitches, bugs all the time stat padding you know I, I i don't know you know win trading or stacking you know i see it all the time there'd be no players there'd be no battlefield players left quite honestly um i'm trying to i'm trying to think like just because you know if i have sort of higher stats than somebody else you know they could see that as stat padding you know and go oh you're just a stat abuser with your 5kd you know and sort of you know pretty good kills per minute you know they could see that in like to more say to a more sort of average player you know they could say oh that's just stat abuse you know report me for that that's a possibility i don't know i don't think that is i just played a game you know i just played a game um yeah so i, I don't think i'm guilty of any of these to be honest um and then it goes in say you know to avoid your account follow the rules of conduct in EA's user agreement. Um, I, I, I will put a little link um, to both these pages if you want to, you want to sort of look at them. Yeah. The, I, I, you know, I kind of feel that the problem with this is 
that there's different there's different levels of what I you know what you consider cheating you know um you know, being banned for cheating you know I would say you know being banned for cheating doesn't look good you know and when you pull when you put in stat padders or glitch abusers in the same category as aim butters or more hackers you know that's not good man like in my opinion that's not good you know as you know as a player that's you know makes youtube videos and streams you know and you know as someone who complains about aim butters all the time you know it doesn't look good that my account's been banned for cheating you know um you know, it doesn't look good and you know if it was for this is the problem this is another problem it's like i i don't know what i've been banned for you know another possibility is from like reports of you know of any of one of these like i said you know i don't think i'm guilty of any one of these but players could like mass report me for something like abusing a glitch or like um you know and then they might think that you know and quickly to mention you know from my experience of console pc you know if you're a very good player in battlefield or even, I think even more so if you make videos or YouTube or stream, like some players like really dislike you, um, and sometimes to like a sometimes to unhealthy levels from my experience. You know, having a group of individuals that follow you about, you know, on a hate train. You know, <laughs> I mean, honestly, I can make a full series of video just just on that alone, to be honest. But um, you know, unfortunately, that is a side of Battlefield that does exist. You know, so it could be a possibility. Of a group of individuals reporting to get a certain said individual player bland like myself if they know the know-how you know um you know that is a possibility i feel just uh, just over this time trying to figure out like trying to backtrack what have i changed on my pc is there anything that's on my pc that could sort of conflict with the anti-cheat and the only thing i can think of is um rtss or afterburner i did update rtss probably like a week a week and a half before i got banned because it stopped working in battlefield 5 um so that's why i think it is i think i updated afterburner to get it to work in battlefield 5 and there is a conflict there i, I think um after afterburner rtss is quite an old it's quite an old outdated sort of software now and i think there's some conflicts there i feel um that's why i think it is i, I that's all I can think is, you know, because I, I don't know. Um, yeah, so, you know, like I said before, you know, this whole thing, I'm not going to lie, it's, quite, it's left quite a sour taste in my mouth, you know, with, with this video, hopefully, you know, having some closure on this whole thing, you know, move forward. Looks like I won't be getting my account back. You know, I've, I've done as much as I can. I've given them, so I've given them every detail that I feel that I needed to provide. Um... Yeah, and as far as I'm concerned, for reasons I've been banned, you know, I am not guilty of. It's a false ban, you know, so it's like, well, what do I do now? It's like, I just got to move on, you know, just use a, use a new account, carry on as normal, you know, YouTube videos, get back to streaming, hopefully, like, hopefully quite soon. Um, and like I said, you know, I, I do feel quite sort of sour about this whole thing, you know, to the extent as, you know, I'm pretty much done with EA from, you know, in the future, you know. I, I won't be buying anything that EA is related with in the future, that's for sure. Um, as long as my account is banned, um, you know, I will say, I, I, you know, just my take on EA, I, I think they're a terrible company, you know, that makes terrible products in anything and everything that they're involved with. You know, at the end of the day, you know, at the end of the day, you know, their customer suffers. Um, you know, I've lost a lot of time and money with that account. I, I think the only language that EA talk is money, which is why I'm not buying anything that EA is related with in the future. Yeah, I'm pretty much done with EA. Yeah, so I think that's um yeah, so I think I think that's pretty much it. Um, you know, obviously I will say, you know, thank you for everyone that sort of reached out to me or the comments on a previous video. You know, a, a lot of people, you know, quite supportive, you know, it's very it's you know, it's great to see there's a lot of um you know, I think it's blatantly obvious I'm not cheating about for five, so you know, I'm very, very happy that other people can see that because it's you know, it's not it's not nice to be banned for something that you're not doing and obviously it doesn't look good. Um it's being a player and then being banned for cheating. Um, it's just, you know, that's not a good feeling, I will admit. Um, but um, yeah, you know, I appreciate the support. Thank you very much. Next video coming out soon, hopefully. Um, Karen on YouTube. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you watching to the end. If you have, thank you very much. You're a legend. Um, yeah. I will see you boys in the next video.